demonstrating the swept boss, lofted boss, lofted cut, and shell feature. To demonstrate these features, we will create a mug with a handle. To start out, we'll click File, New, Part. We'll click on the top plane, and we'll click Sketch. We will get a six-sided thing, and we will hit Escape to drop that tool and we'll make this bottom line horizontal and we will give it a radius of a hundred millimeters. Hit the checkbox and hit exit sketch. We will now click on the top plane and click show. We will click on the corner and oh, control click on the corner and we'll drag up our new plane. We will drag it up 250 millimeters. Hit checkbox and we'll click on that plane and click sketch. We'll then make a circle with a radius of one hundred and fifty millimeters hit the checkbox hit exit sketch we'll then click on our lofted boss click there and there on both of our sketches and it will make a shape that satisfies both the sketches and we'll hit check and we will hide our two planes. So we'll click on the top plane, control click on the bottom plane, right click, or just click and hide. And now we will shell this part to make it hollow. So we'll click on the shell, click on the circle, which is gonna be the opening, and we'll click shell outward and We'll give it a wall thickness of five millimeters and we'll hit the checkbox. And now we have a hollow part. We'll section it on the front plane. We will create a sketch on the front plane. And we will create two lines, horizontal. Hit escape to drop that tool and we'll click on a couple of points and we'll make these points all vertical of the origin. And we will dimension the height of these lines. We'll make this one 50 millimeters from the bottom of the mug and this one is going to be 40 millimeters from the top of the mug. We'll hit escape and we'll dimension both of these lines to 60 and this one we can do to 50 millimeters. So now we have two lines fully defined. We'll use these lines as anchors for our spline hit escape we'll click on the spline and use these control polygons to make the shape that we want I think that looks pretty good for our purposes and we'll hit escape and now we will section the mug on the right plane and we'll reverse the direction by clicking on these arrows and we'll click OK. Then we'll, we will create a sketch on the right plane 
and we are in the wrong side of the plane so we will click on our view orientation block box and we will get orientated correctly now we will create a circle for the profile of our mug we'll hit escape once we drew our circle and we'll click on the origin of the circle and control click on that point right there which was that line and we'll click pierce so now that point pierces that line and we will give that circle a dimension and it will be a 15 millimeters we'll hit exit sketch and now we can create our handle so we will go to swept boss we'll click on our profile which is our circle and our path which is our sketch that we drew earlier and click OK now we have our mug with our handle but we have these things sticking inside of it so we will use a lofted cut to get rid of those so we'll click on the feature we already have sketches created so we'll just open up our loft one mm, this takes a while okay and we will we'll click on our sketch one and our sketch two we can do this because when we shelled our part we shelled outward if we shelled inward we would get rid of our walls of our mug and we couldn't do this so then we'll hit the checkbox and now we cut off the parts intersecting our mug and we can add a couple fillets to this click on our fillet tool we'll probably make these five millimeters and we'll add them to the bottom of our mug make sure you have a constant size fillet and I do not want to add them to there but you could if you wanted to I'll hit the checkbox there and we'll add a couple smaller fillets on here so we don't cut our lips we'll click on our fillet tool make sure it's constant size and we'll make these two millimeters and we'll just click this face up here that's good and we'll also fill it both of these sides as well to give it a little bit more strength okay you have now created your big handled mug using lofted boss, lofted cut, swept boss, fillets, shells. Thank you for watching.